Hey guys, it's Jennifer and welcome back to Busy Being Jen. Today I'm here to talk about how I recently cleaned and conditioned my Michael Kors purse that I got a little bit less than a year and a half ago, probably about oh a year and four months ago. Uh, this is a Michael Kors purse is not cheap and this one was about 400 bucks. It was a very classic looking purse, black. I knew I would wear it a lot. I knew that it wasn't going to go out of style right away, um, if ever. And um, so I have been wearing this purse a lot. The only time I don't wear it is in the summer because I tend to use things that are either a lighter color or a more fun bright color. Uh, but anyway, the other day I was just happening to notice in a certain light that the leather was looking a little bit ashy in places and mostly where the bag would rub against my side, you know, when you have it over your shoulder. And so the bottom wasn't looking bad, the front not so much, but the part where it was rubbing against my clothing, that's where I was starting to notice it. So I just went online and I started to look around about how to um, how to take care of a purse. I went to the Michael Kors website. They actually sell their own products for cleaning their um, their leather purses. Um, I didn't use their products, but I suppose if you have a Michael Kors bag or any kind of high-end bag, you might really want to investigate to make sure that whatever you use on that purse is not going to damage it. Um, I actually did a little spot check on mine, but I want to go ahead and walk you through the process for how I cleaned up my purse and reconditioned it, and it was just a big hit, and I'm very excited about what now looks to me like I have another new Michael Kors bag. So let me go ahead and show you how um, I did this. To do. Well, let's talk about the inside and the hardware. So the inside of the bag doesn't completely pull out, but they say just sort of loosen it away, get it away from the leather, and kind of um, use a damp cloth to wash out any parts that are stained. Um, I just took mine outside and shook it out. Um, then on the hardware, you can use... Um, they were even talking about using like a magic eraser to sort of polish it up. Um, or you could start with a damp, um, with a damp microfiber cloth and, um, and, and shine it up, which is one thing I'm going to do. And then on this, you use a leather cleaner, um, just gently clean it, and then you use a leather conditioner. And you don't want to overdo it, and you just use gentle little um, circular motions to, um, to kind of polish it up. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and show you how it looks. So I thought this was interesting. I just used a very lightly, lightly dampened microfiber cloth to wipe off the outside, the leather, and look at the, the dirt it took off. So, um, yeah, well, you know, I haven't cleaned it for the whole time I've had it. I also wanted to show you this. This right here, I mean, this is a magic eraser I've used before, but it, was, it looked like this. And after just cleaning the hardware, the end of it is really dark so it just shows how much in need of cleaning that thing was <clears throat> so the light is kind of making it difficult to show you the difference before and after but with these straps this one is the one that I have already conditioned and this one I have not so if you look at this one it's a little bit more dull than that one so it really does clean it up so I'm finished now and this took me all of about, I don't know, 15 minutes to do. And this is the place where I spot tested the conditioner before I started. I just took a little place, oops, that's just a piece of fiber. <laughs> um, anyway, um, I spot tested the conditioner on the bottom. So, um, and I didn't use a regular leather cleaner. Um, I just used a microfiber cloth that was lightly dampened and I actually went over the whole purse twice because the first time I got off that dirt that you saw and then I went back and did it again just very very gently um, because you know this is really delicate leather and this particular one is quilted and so you don't want to you know wear wear the um, leather out. So anyway, I was really careful to make sure that I did the corners, the parts that get uh, kind of beat up, you know, just wear and tear from carrying a purse around, and I gave those a real good conditioning. Um, I did the top edges as well as the 
very top inside of the purse has leather. Um, of course, I cleaned up all the hardware, and then uh, after I conditioned the leather, I went back and I uh, polished off these little pieces here, you know, just in case they got any of the leather conditioner on them. But it feels so soft. And um, one thing that I would say that I would just caution you about before you just go and start using this, and check your leather conditioner to find out what the instructions say, but you don't want to just go carry this and then have possibly some of it um, rub off on your clothing um, and you know and, and put a stain on there so check to see what the instructions are but no matter what the instructions say personally I'm just going to let this sit for um, at least an hour or a few hours before I start using it again but boy oh boy man guys I'm not going to wait <laughs> over a year before I do this the next time because it just looks so nice So that was pretty easy and I was really happy with how it turned out. Um, like I said, I didn't use any um, fancy products. I was just using um, just basic leather cleaner and conditioner for it. Um, hopefully I will see you again on Busy Being Jen. If you're not a current subscriber, hit that button. YouTube will let you know when I upload new videos, which is a lot. <laughs> okay, see you later, you guys. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.